Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got a mixed bag of weather today. Kind of dark. A little bit rainy off and on. Sun trying to peek through. But hey, a couple more weeks that sun starts coming back up. Up in the shop this morning and... As you know from a previous video, I had a gecko blow up my reliable inverter. So I'm gonna pull this one out of the shop here. And one of the things I do like about the Victrons is they cannot get into this inverter through any place. So I never have a gecko trying to set up home. They can't get through that. Where in the reliable, they can crawl right in there. So I'm going to shut this system down. I can leave the battery fully charged. I do have a little spare inverter. I could hook up to that if need be. It's not going to be an issue until I get a replacement. So I flipped the solar panels off. There was 400 watts coming into this system and disconnected my battery cable. So I'm free to go ahead and disconnect what I want to. I'm just going to pop this off here. I'll leave that fuse on there. It's a 125 amp fuse. And I'll disconnect this here. And then I should just be able to simply drop this back in to that place where the reliable uh, blew up. All right. That one's disconnected. That one's disconnected. And now just my screw gun. And I'll take this off, take this off, and I'll go ahead and take my smart dongle into the other room down at the house and leave this just as is, run that freezer. All right, got it off, let's go. Well, I did have to put it in upside down here to make everything work without cutting too much and using what I wanted to use. Uh, it looks pretty good. I got everything nice and tight breaker still flipped and getting ready to energize the charge controller first before we do the solar all right flip the breakers to on let's energize without spark and we should see that blue light come on here okay there we go there we go Good, now I can hook up the cable without a spark. I always do that because that spark just scares the bejesus out of me every time I do it. So pre-energize the charge controller and be able to fire up that solar in just one second here. All right, cables are on. Everything's looking pretty good. Let's flip some solar on. This should come on. <laughs> there we go. And we can see we're charging now. And that's, that's what it was when I disconnected this. So that's going to be good. Uh, we'll charge that up today, which reminds me, I want to go out there and show you the solar panels here in a minute too. Saw some stuff I'm not sure about out there. Maybe a little degradation. And this should be fine. Let's turn it on. Okay, good. All right, let's unplug the freezer off the 24 volt, which has been running it. And plug it right into here on this double outlet that I've got now plugged in to the 800 watt inverter, which is upside down. And I can hear it kicking on. Make sure we're on the right outlet. It'll kick on in a minute. Once you unplug it, it takes it a minute for that freezer to kick back on. We'll take a peek at that, but I can hear the inverter humming along pretty nice. Everything looks good. All right, and look at all the Victron devices. <laughs> and I'm calling this one the freezer system. Let's just see what those panels are doing right now. We got 145 watts coming into this battery right now. Uh, the freezer still hasn't kicked on, but that looks good. Happy about that. Everything appears to be doing just good. Yeah, okay, one more gecko-proof inverter in action. So that leaves only two that I'm running that can still be penetrated by those critters, but 
Yeah, I'll slowly, uh, over time, get rid of those other two as well. Okay, 150 watts coming in uh, off of 400 watts available. So let's run out and look at those panels real quick. Okay, well, it's a little cloudy, which that uh, is attributing to only 150 watts coming off. Those are those uh, 100 watt panels from Calpha up top. That's the 400 feeding that freezer system. Uh, those are panels are still looking good. They could be wiped off a little bit, but it's these here. And these are those new powers. I haven't had any of these fail, but I came out here the other day and I never seen this. You see these streaks? They are actually inside the panel. Got them everywhere. And I need to come out here when they're in full sun and then check the app. I don't think that it's uh, affecting the output any, but I'll try and zoom in and show you. Yeah, they're all over. They're not really cracks, but they look like, I mean, some sort of a disruption through the cells themselves. Uh, there's that, that panel. This panel has the same thing on it, as you can see. And actually all of them, I believe, do now. And I didn't notice this the last time I was out here, but yeah, this one's got them as well. Uh, up there as well. And then, as you can see, not sure what, what that is, I mean. And then this one, my goodness. Look at all that. And in fact, let's jump back in there and see what they look like. And then even, I, I was gonna say, the Bouge RV panel, which is this one tied into these six here for 700 watts going to that 48 volt battery. But I sure see one there as well. So, uh, none on the Kalfas, but all of the new Powas and the Bouge RV. Although there's, yeah, it's starting to show a few more up in here too. So on this whole 700 watt string, a lot of those, whatever they are, is happening there. Uh, I did look. I. Uh, on the back of, you know, the history of the lock. I'm not seeing any real degradation in the output, though. So let's jump into the uh, batterer battery, which is that 700 watts of solar. And, of course, 700 watts. But it's and kind of some dark clouds rolling by, so that doesn't... But let's look back at the... The PV Max. So if I go back a few days, I can see it 630 some watts. Uh, those panels are being a bit challenged this time of year for great, great sun. You can see I'm actually doing fine. I'm keeping that Vatterer 48 volt in, in pretty full condition most of the time, using it every day in the kitchen, like I've showed you guys, high wattage appliances, but. Yeah, I mean, the last couple of days, I mean, yesterday was dark, of course, all, everything was down, but there's 536 watts. So I don't think those cracks are really, or whatever, they're, they're not actually cracks, but there is some sort of disruption in those lines between the cells, but uh, it appears that everything's moving along pretty good. If I go back a little further, and I only caught those little lines in those panels a couple of days ago, and same thing. Uh, if they get out into full sun, which they might not today, I'll take a quick pee, but there's 500 and some watts, 600 and some watts. So I don't think it's really affecting it that much. Uh, I'll need a good sustained burst of sunshine to actually figure that out. And there we go. In the meantime, the freezer just kicked on. It's pulling 67.9 watts. And that's about normal for that five cubic foot free, uh, uh, freezer.
it's just a freezer only, just kind of a backup freezer. And we've had very cool nights lately, so it's not even running that hard at all. So, yeah, pretty good shape. Even if I caught no more sun, and you can see now we're actually pulling more than we're putting in with that arrow going down. But even if I saw no more today, that's that's fine. It it seems to fluctuate between about oh forty percent and. 60% uh, under these conditions day in and day out. So yeah, looking good. Okay, good. I did eliminate a couple of uh, fuses there that I just had in here. I had too much going on in there. So I cleaned that up a little bit, but that that's pretty good. I'll probably have to put a sticker over that being upside down. That'll bug me. <laughs> Even though I did get used to the reliable that was upside down there for years, but yeah gecko gecko proof yeah happy about that all right that's one of the projects for the day i got several more hey now that 400 watts is producing more than we're using there we are we're we're adding to this 300 amp hours here pulling 68 watts and that's this freezer here all right, everybody, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Lots of little stuff like that going on out here, but yeah, up and running. And I got a spare coming, or not a spare, but a replacement up there for the shop. So I'm gonna leave that Victron where it is. Uh, that'll be good. And it accomplishes many things. And they're pretty critter proof out here. I've never seen anything else be able to get into my Victron charge or inverters or charge controllers for that matter. Nothing seems to bother those. But yeah, those warm components and those reliable inverters. Yeah, those lizards like to get in there. All right. Aloha, everybody. Catch you later. Forgot where I was going. <laughs> uh, beautiful day. Just dodging a few showers here and there. Oh, I see you. I see you. Yeah. <laughs> Relentless. <laughs>